Shalom Uvacha. The main thing a person can do for himself, for his life, is to dig deep inside your own structure to find purpose for your life. That's something very, very, very deep, very, very important, very, very precious for the person to understand in reality I have the full responsibility on my life to make them meaningful life, to find true purpose for my life. That the person will not cross his 70, 80 years of his life empty, waste his time on looking at the sky and working like a crazy sweat and, and, and tiring his body like a donkey, chasing after life like a, like a dog full of lusts and desires. The real, real purpose of our existence is that the person will find an inner spiritual connection to the Creator. I know about myself that when I started my tshuva, when I started looking for purpose in my life, I, in the beginning I was searching in, in different, totally different directions because the, the concepts and world of Torah and tefillah was, was foreign to me. I, I was not aware to all the, the greatness of, of the Bible and the verses and the, and the other books of, of, of the righteous people who, who composed such amazing, amazing wisdom art in their books. And uh, I never knew that. I, I didn't have the access to all that knowledge as a kid. So when I was searching in the beginning to find meaning and purpose for my life, I was searching in the areas that were close to me. But with time, after I revealed another thing and, uh, and understood another thing about myself, it, it helped me to climb and to, and to focus my, my, my thoughts and my, my desire to healthier things, to things with more meaning, with more power, with uh, purer things and, and things that will give me um, knowledge that is way more clarified and clean and sifted than, uh, than, than others. So you see that with the path, that with the time, you're growing and you're developing and you're, you're finding the path, you're finding the right way, you're finding the root of your soul. But the person who just begins the process of tshuva that really starts and looking for purpose and for meaning in his life, he cannot blame himself for not being in the highest level of them all. This is very important, important message that a person will not judge himself and criticize himself for not being in a higher level than the level that he is. Because the Creator is not looking for levels. The Creator is looking for the heart, like that it's written, Rahmana Libabai. The Creator, the Father of Mercy, the Loving One, He asks for your heart. He wants you to be honest. He wants you to be truthful. He wants us to be the ones that we are. So if, let's say now, you're hungry, you cannot function without going and eating first. If you're now tired, you cannot go and have a, like a full day of work now, Without, um, without putting your head for at least half an hour to rest. And if you will listen to that inner voice of your basic needs, of your simple understandings about your level, and you're going to be honest in that process, you're going to be truthful about your journey, and you're going to say, okay, I want to do it, but now I need to grab something to eat. I want to do this thing, but now it's like, I need to take five minutes to rest. I, I, I rather to do something else first and then I'm going to go and do that. If you're going to do that in that pace that you are tuned to yourself, that you are aware to your, to your, to your spirit, to your feelings, to your thoughts, then you will build the structure of your spirituality in a very solid and stable way that will never break. People who run too fast after crazy ideas and holistic visions and dreams and hopes. I'm, I'm going to do this and now I'm not eating anymore and I'm start fasting and I'm going to learn 20 hours a day and I'm not going to do this and I'm not going to have that. And they're just breaking their own horse that's supposed to carry them for a long, long way. They're breaking their own body. 
they are shaking their own stability, they're damaging the foundation of, of their physical structure that will for sure damage their spiritual development. Because if, let's say, now a person used to, is, used to eat too much, and there is no doubt that he's eating too much, if you're now going to cut his diet in half, or even going to throw away two-thirds of the usual amount that he used to eat every day, by doing that to him, you're going to break him. Even though that you want to do something good for that person, you need to bring him one step at a time into that path of eating uh, healthier and good eating habits and, and building that one day at a time to take off certain things in certain hours and then to change a little bit more and then to improve the diet in, in another way and like to, to work on it, to shape it one day at a time, one step at a time, to work on it. You cannot go and like, okay, I'm now going to make a radical change in my life and I'm going to become spiritual. Your spirit needs to have a vessel, needs to have you, your body, to carry that spirit. Therefore, you need to maintain your stability. And if you want to correct yourself and to fix yourself, you need to do it in a steady pace, one day at a time, and to improve. And the most beautiful thing is that the greatest light of your soul will shine um, from, from, from that work. Because, for an example, um, let's say, for, for an example, a person today, he's a Star Wars fan, okay? Like, he's a... He's, he likes the, the Avengers, he, he desires to see the movies and like every trailer he's, he's the first to see and, and like uh, he goes to see the promos, everything he's like crazy on, 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 on those uh, new movies and modern uh, movies. Okay, so now he, for, for him as, as, as a secular person, it's very hard to find connection to spirituality. And if now he wants to climb and to be holier, he can say to himself, okay, I'm not going to see any more of those movies. I'm not going to watch them anymore. I'm not going to do this. I'm not... You are cutting the branch that you're sitting on. Means that if you will take time and you're just going to reduce the amount of movies that you watch and you're going to just try to understand and figure out between you to your true self why you are involved in those things benefit that comes out for you as a person from watching those movies what are you enjoying from what is the satisfaction that you're getting from it you will find a way to channel that wisdom into your new life so to speak that you want to build you will be able to understand i read once a book um i don't remember the name of that book in english but in hebrew um the name of that book is Hechalat Murot, uh, it's uh, Hechalat Murot, I think that's the name of the book, by Rav Erez Moshe Doron, Rabbi Erez Moshe Doron. And he wrote that fantastic book, I think that that's the name. And it's an amazing book, but it's like, it's like the Hobbit, it's like the, it's like the, the Lord of the Rings book. And like, it's obvious that this wonderful rabbi, Rav Erez Moshe Doron, got the idea from books that he read in the, in the past, when, before he did tshuva. It's obvious. But then he was able to take those concepts, those ideas, and to bring them into his new life, into his life mission. Used the talents and his passion and his love for certain things and brought it back to Hashem. Like that you need to bring to the temple of God the crops that grows in your field, one will bring carrots, one will bring apples, one will bring um, tomatoes, and one will bring lettuce. Everyone should bring what from his treasures, from his um, um, gifts and blessings. <coughs> in the same way today, every person should bring back to Hashem from the gifts and blessings that the Creator blessed him with and even passion for certain modern things, and even small things like, um, like hobbies, sports, and different kinds of knowledge that you have today can be used very wisely um, toward Hashem.
to reveal his loving kindness among people with same ideas and visions like you had in the past or maybe that you're still holding and you're still not sure what to do with that and to bring down the light to where you are at and not to try to climb to where Hashem is at because Hashem is not over the rainbow no Hashem is all over the place Hashem is outside you and inside Hashem is above and is under he is around you and he is very like inner and, 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 and deep inside your mind. You can see him with your eyes and you can think about him with your, with your mind. Hashem is all over the place. And it's our mission to expose that light, to uncover the true potential of every individual on earth and to help and to assist many to find themselves beautiful and amazing and wise and gifted and blessed and talented and for everyone to use their talents and the wonderful treasures that the Creator put inside of us for the sake of the world and for the respect and, and glory of our Heavenly Father in Heaven that we cherish and bless His, um, His existence in our lives. Thank you Hashem, thank you holy people. May the Creator bless us all as one keep on loving, to keep on supporting each other, to keep on doing great things for the world, to keep on shining the light of heavens, the good and glory, beautiful, full of, 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 of glory and light of the Creator among our siblings, our sisters and brothers. And may His light shine upon us all in this seventh day that is about to come and on for the rest of our lives. Thank you so much and may Hashem bless you all. Amen.